Are you looking to take the next step in your Rocket League career? Then join the RLPC using the Discord link below. In the P4 leagues, starting off with a single A matchup between the Cardinals and the Goals. My name is Squintle, and unfortunately, I will be doing this by myself currently, as unfortunately our desk member was not able to make it home in time, but that's okay. So I apologize if there is any bumps in the road or any rough patches, but let's see how we get on. So first off, I'm going to be starting off by talking with the Cardinals and the Cardinals have had a decently rough start to the season sitting at a four and seven record not too far off of the chance of going to playoffs but they'll really have to turn around this season and looking at the goals they have had unfortunately an even worse start than the Cardinals sitting at two and nine I believe almost tied with the worst record in the league the Wranglers are two and eight but that is because they have not played one of their matches yet looking at the teams on statistical levels the Cardinals don't look like such a bad team when you look at the paper they honestly they have a two goals per game which is pretty solid um 4.4 goals per game or saves per game sorry which is also a pretty average and solid amount and this is where the goals struggle though the goals only have a 1.6 goals per game which I believe is the lowest in the league currently so that is one of the main reasons they're probably struggling here in this season so far. And comparing the rosters right now, we have the Cardinals, who have a new player in Cato, who's only played one series, but in that series he did relatively well, gathering himself a goals per game and 2.4 saves per game. So I do not know if he'll be showing up tonight, but if he does, he may be the difference changer in uh, whether this goals team or sorry, this Cardinals team, can come out with a win. Well, Squintle, I decided to come in, keep you company, because I want to say hello, because you're such a beautiful, uh, you know, beautiful person. Um, so give me one second. But my question to you is, I mean, the Goals have three players. You know, they have Pounce, Toasty, and uh, Mr. Kitty Kit. Yeah, Mr. Kitty Kit. Um, but what about that four player? Where did where did he go? Was it just kind of uh, did he leave or like what what happened with that? Yeah, uh, I believe their their uh, fourth player actually did end up leaving. Uh, whether that be because he was fed up with the team or maybe the, it wasn't going in the right direction, uh, I do not know that. But I do know he did end up leaving. But I have gotten word that one of my teammates actually. Is, uh, is the A-League summon our team short is going to be subbing in for the goals tonight. So uh, he very well could uh, be the difference maker in this game. So then, um, apologies, I got to think because my mind doesn't work at all. Um, but who do you think is the starting lineup then for the goals? Um, I think I know that Toasty is going to be uh, showing up today. And obviously, Short is going to be the sub coming in today. But I do not know who their third will be, whether it be Coach Pounce or Mr. Kitty Kit. Um, I believe that Coach Pounce is their main starter, as he has 10 series played. So almost every single game. Actually, that is every single game now. So yeah, every single game played by Coach Pounce and Toasty. So I believe those two will be showing up with Short, although Mr. Kitty Kit could make an appearance. Mr. Kitty Kit. What a name, dude. I honestly was not expecting it. But I believe you already talked a little bit about the Cardinals, no? Uh, I talked a little bit about them. All right. So, I mean, I do see Zizos on that one <clears throat> because, uh, you know, I've, I've seen him around town, as the kids say. Uh, but, you know, he's he's been a really good player, especially for... Um, uh, who was it? No, it wasn't the Herons. I believe it was the... I want to say the, is it the Eskimos? Wasn't he Tundra? Eskimos, yeah, it was the Eskimos. I believe they traded, the Cardinals traded oh. Trent for, uh, for Zizos. Oh, I thought it was Ford, no? Am I, am I nah, Ford was uh, earlier in the season. Ford was oh. beginning of the season. 
All right. Well, apparently I'm just going crazy, which is totally uh, plausible because, you know, me. Um, but how long ago did the goals uh, lose their fourth player? Um, actually, I do not know that on the top of my head. I might be able to go check down here in the <laughs> transactions. Yeah, I mean, it, still, no matter what happens, I mean, it's going to be difficult for the goals because, I mean, no, like people are still, you know, kind of on that break, uh, you know, between Christmas and New Year's. But the Cardinals, you know, they still have that chemistry. They they have all their players. Um, but I mean, for Z or for the Cardinals, it definitely looks like Zizos uh, spirit. And then I'm guessing Frisky Wombats is probably going to show up today because, I mean, he has the most series played. Um, but I mean, it, they definitely do look like a more defensive team. Because, I mean, Zizos is the most aggressive with 0.74 goals per game. So, <clears throat> wait one second. Wait, no, that's not it. There it is. No! What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. You're, you're barred trying to figure out the MMR yeah. ranges for chat right now. <laughs> wait, what do I have? What is it? Why am I going crazy? I had it for you, and I know the code, but I'm just, like, totally not doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <laughs> Shut up, Jason. You're right. Anyway. There we go. That's it. I got it. There we it. go. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. Don't... <laughs> I'm going crazy here, man. Uh, but yeah, looking at today, I mean, obviously, it's it looks like it's probably going to be a difficult one for the goals, but what are you thinking going into this one? I honestly think um, the Cardinals, they look like a, a stronger team with the addition of Zizos and also Kato. Um, they all... They look pretty strong. Uh, maybe the Kato from, or sorry, Zizos from the trade, uh, probably gonna help that Cardinals team out a lot. But also looking at the goals, I believe Short uh, arguably has the best stats in all of A League. Um, so you could argue that he's the best player in A League right now. Could make a contending run to help this goals team really get a win tonight. Wait, Short is your lowest MMR player? Yeah. We, my, the Stallions have a very, uh, our, the MMR difference between all of us is only 18 between our lowest and our highest. So I was going to say, that's really close. weird. Cause I mean, he's played the most and mm -hmm. wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's looking, looking pretty good for you guys. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting spectacle to see what he can add to this goals team. Um, but talk to me about egg because I believe it's what foreign Four and seven, and then two and nine for the goals. Um, well, four and seven for the Cardinals, and then two and nine for the goals. Why? Why do you think that the goals aren't doing better? Do you think that it's uh, players? Do you think it's just you know stuff happens? Like, talk to me about that one. I, it's really, it's honestly, it really has to be their lack of offensive pressure. Um, when you're looking at the saves per game spectrum, they're actually pretty high up there. Um, one of the top saves per games teams. But the, what really is their downfall is their goals per game. They only have 1.6 goals per game, which means they aren't getting on the offensive side of the ball. They're constantly under offensive pressure from other teams. And uh, they really need to turn that around and get some of that nice balance between their offensive and defensive sides. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, my throat is not liking me today um but who on the goal side do you feel like it is like that role falls to do you feel like it's gonna be pounce do you feel like it's toasty what are you thinking um from what i've seen toasty seems more like their solid defensive player um i usually always see him as a third man type player um coach pounce also kind of feels like a third man i think this is probably the problem with their team is they don't really have that player who you can rely on every time you give them the ball. It's like, he's going to score it for us. You know, they don't have that type of player. They're all a very defensive-minded players when it comes to them as individuals. So now I'm going to throw you a wrench in probably what you were expecting to look at. Um, but let's look at the goals and let's see who they have available, actually. Um, I'm going to go to Team Builder. I'm going to mess around with it, try to get, <laughs> you know, what I want. But who out of the FA are you... Really looking for them to try and pick up or maybe even waitlist? Um, looking at the FAs right now. Um, they have on the FA list, there is only two players. Sorry, there's... Okay, yeah, there's only one player actually right now on the FA Ooh. list. Um, and SEO. Go, Sko. 
or so if the C is silent. Um, oh my gosh, that's actually <laughs> tilting. <laughs> anyway, uh, so or Sko, however you pronounce his name. Sorry if he's watching the stream. Um, 1569. Uh, it's on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to A League MMRs. Um, but you never know. He could be a sleeper pick. And um, if they do end up picking him up, which seems like they're going to have to, um, maybe he'll be that difference maker. And maybe he's a lot more offensive than the rest of the players on this roster. I mean, so, okay, I, I don't know quite what has happened, but the league cap is 6340, right? Mm -hmm. I see that the cap space, they only have 6252. So I think that they got buyout penalties and they can't actually pick up Sko. Huh. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Well, unfortunately, we don't huh. have any more time to talk or think about it um, <laughs> because the players are in. They are totally ready. So, Squinnell, thank you so much for talking with me. It was a pleasure as always. Um, but now I'm going to get um, the words. I'm going to throw you guys over to QDC and Titan on Fire who are going to cast this one. So, boys, take it away and do me proud. Thank you, Bard. Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Titan on Fire, joined by the wonderful Quantum Death Cat, also known as QDC. And we have a matchup here that is, um, as the desk alluded to, uh, between two teams that kind of need to get their season all in order <laughs> because they are pretty low down in the standings, and we're getting to the point where every single loss is going to start mattering a whole lot. Oh, totally. And uh, I mean, b both of these teams, I mean, are, they're not exactly out of the playoffs, but like as as was stated, right? I mean, they, they aren't exactly the best teams, right? So uh, they they need to find themselves a few wins here for sure. Four and seven, two and nine. Uh, you, you got yourselves a few lowly teams for sure uh, that are pr pretty much at the bottom of the of the standings, right? And Obviously, you don't want to be at the bottom as players, and especially in A, right? It doesn't even matter towards uh, where you draft. So, at the end of the day, the, even the, the GMs don't want you to be tanking at this point in A. So, yeah, it's all about the, the major teams. If, uh, if your major team is doing bad, you want them to tank. But obviously, the players, they don't want to tank, right? If they only have a one-season contract or uh, they're on their last uh, year of their deal, um, they, they didn't want to go somewhere else uh, because, hey, you don't want to be... Um, with a, with a team where the GM tells you to tank, right? You want to play. You want to show off what you can do. You want to win, right? Mm. And uh, the, sadly, these teams haven't been doing much of that. Yeah, of course, the Cardinals in a, a bit better of a spot. Um, only seeing they still have themselves four wins doing pretty decently. Um, and they're in a spot where, you know, a few good, a few good series, a few good games, and they can definitely get themselves uh, maybe contending for a playoff spot. Um, but the Gulls, they're the team where you look in and you're saying, wow, two and nine, that is definitely rough. And it's surprising because, um, again, for both of these teams, it's they have some very good players on their squads. Like uh, they mentioned on the desk, Short has some amazing stats, but his team is two and nine. And you're just like, where where is it going wrong in that case? If you have a player especially, like Short. Especially with uh, Pounce and Toasty on that team, right? You, it's not like uh, that team is looking bad on paper. So maybe it is something completely different thank you so much clutch for the five gifted sub congratulations to scraps uh click uh, click and clack uh quippy troop and pancake on getting yourself some subs and uh ladies and gentlemen we got our first goal of the game yeah kato just intercepts this one at the midfield as push chat has uh managed to <laughs> Uh, correct me, short is a sub, but you know, even then, still, you got toasty and pounce, so, you know, yeah, exactly. the point still applies. Uh, you might be a sub, but you're still quite a decent player, right? And that's that, that shouldn't make a difference, because as Squindle said, right, uh, on his team, there's only an 18 MMR difference between first and fourth, right? So, uh, it, 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 some of these guys are really, really close together MMR-wise, but MMR doesn't always uh, showcase skill. There are some players who tend to not even play uh, whatsoever uh, so, uh, ranked, and uh, their, their MMR because of that is completely skewed. Already the Cardinals got themselves off that one goal lead, so we'll have to see what they can do to keep it up, as it has been a fairly passive start to this game. We've already had about a minute and 25 sec or 15 seconds of gameplay, and the midfield just being highly contested by the Cardinals, trying to see what they can do. Frisky 
Let's get the midfield pass off to Kato. It's not the best touch. Short should be able to get there. As this follow-up, though, will be high off the backboard. Frisky almost gets to that. Would have been an insane read had he managed to, but a team bump there. Kato should have an open net, but just places it a little bit wide. And that won't be the second goal for the Cardinals, but already the goals, uh, you know, a bit shaky here as, you know, Toasty and Pounce still trying to get used to playing with Short as he's not on their team and they haven't really played with him at all, but we'll have to see what they can do to try and get themselves back into this game. And uh, honestly, uh, before we even continue on here, I, I they, everyone at desk and uh, even I forgot, what is your prediction uh, for this series, right? Because, uh, yeah, it's two lowly teams, but uh, both teams... Uh, have their guns to play with here, and uh, they definitely have uh, some some rounds to shoot off here. That's almost another one going in for the Cardinals. Uh, it seems very likely that the goals uh, don't have this one, just judging by what's been going on. Is it Toasty? Is it Pounce? Or is it uh, the, the Short who's come in and really just uh, getting the points so far, getting the ball clears and getting uh, everything else for this team? And that's obviously what you want to see out of Short coming in from the Stallions. Just really playing well, but right now the touches for the Gulls not going their way. And the Cardinals have managed to almost hit every single spot but the net. They've gone crossbar, they've gone side post, right and left, and still they haven't been able to find that second goal. But you don't really need that if you're just going to sell on one goal lead. And it is entirely possible just to have control of the game, have your have possession of the ball, have control of the momentum. For the entire time and win off that of course you know you like you like to have that little buffer that two goal lead it's always nice you can give away one and still be ahead but they don't need it as a bit of a strange play there from toasty <laughs> and it will just lead to the cardinals again just staying on this offensive end and applying so much pressure and as we get to this final our final minute 30 seconds i will answer your question is that shot's gonna find its way in from spirit um i think you know you just have to say performance wise even though they're close, four and seven, two and nine, technically mm. in standings, the the difference in wins and losses between those lower teams, I feel like means so much more than if you're talking about teams that are like nine and two and eight and three. Like if very, you have two, if you have two teams at those score lines, you're like, well, they they're both obviously playing well, and that might have just been a few, like one bad series for one team that caused them to be different score. But even two more series lost when you're this low in the standings. It, that's when you start, that's when it's a pattern. And I think just looking at that, you do have to kind of say, hey, the Gulls might struggle here and maybe they get a win and it's a 3-1, but I would not be surprised if this ends up being a 3-0 as this game has been completely in control of the Cardinals and they're gonna put away their third goal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time. You have about one minute to predict with your channel points. Gamble on which team you think is going to win. Someone put 10K on the Cardinals. <laughs> and uh, that's going to skew it a lot to one side. Uh, whoever put 500 uh, on uh, on the goals uh, might get 24 times as bet if the goals do win. So uh, put, put in your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Fuel your addictions, as I have. <laughs> we, we all love a little bit of gambling. Of course, no money involved. Just friendly channel points. It's all easy. But right now, the Cardinals, very, very convincing game one. It took them a little bit to find the accuracy. If, you know, a bit shaky there on the shots as they did manage to find eight of them and only three goals, but absolutely have been playing amazingly. Is That's actually the first save coming through from the Gulls. They have not managed to actually find a save on any of these shots, which just might be because they weren't on target. But the Cardinals complete control of this game. They've had ball possession. They've had boost control and really just feels like everything in this game one going their way. And with only 15 seconds left, this will be a win for them. Yeah, I think uh, the, the third goal was really the dagger there and there's no coming back from that. Um, three, five seconds left here. They might get a little, no, they don't even find that. The ball's on the ground. Cardinals take game one and they take it quite convincingly. And uh, if it's gonna be like that for all three games, then it's gonna be a quick sweep. Yeah, and that, that, again, that was a very, uh, that was a decent performance from them. I actually really liked what we saw. You know, of course, it can be a bit scary when you have teams like this going into a series and you're saying, well, you know, if you get upset here, <laughs> there's always a chance that, that happens. Uh, but for the Cardinals, you know, they had plenty of possession. They had plenty of uh, shots. It just came down to the accuracy wasn't there, but they still managed to sink away three. So 
if they can keep that up, of course, good for them. But you do want to see them fix that up a little bit, start taking a little bit more time with those shots because there were a few opportunities that felt like should have just found their way in regardless. As for the Gulls, I mean, Short coming in, playing amazingly, as we expect. He's a great player on one of the best teams in A. So we absolutely expect him to play that well. But Pounce and Toasty, Toasty not really managing to get himself in. And the Gulls still just struggling a, a bit here on the rotation and getting everything working cohesively. Yeah, he, he barely got a ball cleared out of his own zone, so uh, maybe getting uh, on the ball will be uh, most important. Uh, let's look at the predictions, how those ended. Uh, 27,000 channel points going on the Cardinals' side, <laughs> and only 1,000 being rest on the goals here. Uh, I see how people uh, see this matchup, and Squinnel putting uh, half of that on the goals. Well, if he gets that bet off, he's getting 26 and a half times his bet. So he's getting a lot, a lot of channel points if the goals do upset here. And I do mean upset because the Cardinals are a big favorite to win. Yeah, and especially, you know, I think another thing that's very surprising about that game is, of course, you have Kato coming in. They just picked him up. He's only played one series before the season, and, or um, one series this season, and he's coming, and it's felt like it has been working for them. They really haven't had any issues with their rotation. His spirit just going to find this one off the backboard. No one there to challenge except for Pounce, and even he is a bit too late. Cardinals score first. And uh, wh what happened? Uh, I do believe Kato was traded, correct, uh, to yes. uh, the Cardinals? So. Uh, that means he just didn't play on this other team. And, well, I think that the chemistry is pretty good with Kato there. He's been doing uh, fine indeed. And I don't see a single problem with uh, them playing him right now. This might be a, a goal for him too, but Pounce is able to get that with a backflip right off the on the post. That was so close to going in. The shot selection, really good. Uh, for this Cardinals team, short making two amazing saves. He didn't have to go far. But, uh, yeah, those uh, saves were a lot bigger uh, than his small name. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely is. Oh, no! <laughs> did I? Oops. Did I do a thing? And he did might I have jinxed thing? him. Oh, no, it was. No, it, it was, was short. Oh, no. It was short. It was short. <laughs> <laughs> Two great saves and then immediately finds the own goal. Cardinals get their second. I, I think it would have been going in anyway. There were two players there and... The Cardinals this game have been looking a lot more deadly on those shots. They already have four of them racked up. Two of them find their way in. So I'm sure it would have gone in anyway, but that is just a little bit of a funny way for that to end as, I mean, for the Gulls, we're still seeing again, um, just the touches here, not as high quality as you would want. The clears, not as quality. And, you know, it's just hard to say because, of course, you know, you do have you're playing with a new player here. Even, even if it's short, you know, it's, you're still playing with somebody completely different that you never played with before. But you still do have to look at uh, Toasty here and say, well, um, you're obviously struggling because you just got your first like touch on the ball. He had zero points before he just got those 12. Very true. And uh, thank you, Frosty, for uh, the tier one sub and the two months of subscription. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have to say that uh, right now it just doesn't seem like they're meshing well whatsoever because these guys are not bad at Rocket League whatsoever. And yet somehow this this looks like a game between uh, an A-League team versus a Paladin team. They're completely being outplayed here by the Cardinals and it's it doesn't even look close. Yeah, it's really rough on the rotation and even if they are like not double committing and they're not making those mistakes, it's still just a bit staggered at points where you, you expect a shot to be there or you expect something just a little bit better. And it's, you know, the shot com maybe it does come through, but then it's not a very good shot. It's just very weak or the touch isn't on target. And that's just something that really does need to be fixed if you want to try and get these wins. Or you can just bang the, the ball from midfield and somehow get it over every single player. I guess that works too. Yeah, completely missed rotation there. Frisky was last man back, and he pushed up way too far. Uh, not Kato, who was the other player there. Elsie Spirit was already in the midfield going to challenge this one, so Frisky had no reason to do that. That's the reason why that goes in, and it's a tie game right off the bat. Toasty, <laughs> he finds his second right off of the kickoff. Two mistakes right off the bat, and we got ourselves... Oh, Frisky, two mistakes costing your team to get up to tie. Now I eat my words right away. Oh, my goodness. I'm eating them up like I'm eating this chicken. 
I, I mean, I, I called out Toasty and he was like, I hear you, I hear you. I'm just gonna somehow find two goals. Don't question it, it's magic. I have made it work though. The wizard himself <laughs> gets this game tied up off that kickoff and I will get the goals back into this game too. And it puts them in a good spot as there's two minutes left to play. You get that massive turnaround. And now it's just to see if they can hold on to it. Frisky looking to see if he can deny that. Almost finds a shot in the follow-up from Spirit. Just a little bit too weak. Pounce and Toasty both double committing on that touch. I do Spirit. like uh, that both uh, that uh, these uh, this goals team right is very very strong in terms of MMR. Right, Toasty is is pretty up there. We know short obviously. Uh, as he has sub a, a few times. We've seen his skill. But it just seems like the rotations aren't there, and even if, you, no matter how skilled you are, right, if, if your rotations aren't strong and you're not in the right position, well, what what use is your skill, right? If you're not in position to make stops like that and everyone's double committing, you can't trust your own teammates to hit the balls. Stuff like this is going to happen, and your team uh, isn't going to look very strong, and look at that double commit, they both missed it. Ah. Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about the backboard a lot, and... I mean, we actually, it's talked less about when you get into like major, triple A, double A, um, because it's kind of a given. You defend the backboard. You can't give up that ground. That's something that you absolutely need to have a player uh, keeping the ball away from, finding players off of. But, you know, usually I'll bring it up maybe in like an independent game. I'll talk about it because that's maybe where you start to see those skills not being used. But even here, you know, there's a lot of touches that are just finding their way off the backboard with no challenge until like far too late if there was going to be a player taking a shot off them. Not only that, but Cardinals are intercepting this ball. They're making the stops where they need to. They're slow playing. They're, they're, they've done everything to disrupt the, this this goals team. And the goals have no answer, it seems. Although Tosi found two. They both came off of really, really atrocious mistakes. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tosi just said, oh, okay, I'm going to hit this ball as hard as I can. And it found its way into the net. Pounce, no! Almost gets a goal, but Spirit just stays in position, finds the save. The bumps being threatened by Toasty is enough to get the defense out of the net. And Short will finally get himself a goal, and he will tie this up for the goals. He pounced on that one, pass it right to Short up in the air. Spirit not able to challenge that one in time. And uh, what was the other one? I think it was Frisky up in the air trying to stop that one. And that one was not stopped either, and it's tied at three. The dominance shown early on in this game. Uh, absolutely left here because now the goals have had their moment uh, as well, right? The shots are tied at seven. In the last uh, three minutes here, the goals really have shown up for sure. But the Cardinals, whenever they're in the offensive zone, it's just a mess in the defense for the goals. Yeah, it does. It, it does look a bit sketchy for them as soon as they get on defense. But you know, a few mistakes here from the Cardinals, and this can definitely swing in their favor. It's one goal is all they need to find this win. Is Again, Pounce and Toasty on another double commit. Kato almost finds the shot in the follow-up. Turned away by Toasty. Another dangerous opportunity. Just kept barely away from the net as two players up here. Short gets demoed. Spirit off the backboard. Doesn't get the bump, though. And the Cardinals, I mean, they're, they're doing it again. They're searching for this goal, and they are getting ever so close every single time. And it only feels like it's a matter of time before this does end up sinking its way into the net. You just really want to see some better clears right now from the goals and not that many whiffs bounce. Just barely gets is in position for that save. Yeah, I think I've noticed uh, what the, the biggest problem for this uh, goal team right now, right? I'm not talking about the, the season. Oh, I'm talking about right now is Frisky. Uh, just puts it off the crossbar and it's not going to be found. That's a great stop by Kato too, keeping the ball out of the zone as a, a certain pounce uh, was cherry picking there. And uh, I was actually going to talk about pounce. I, I see pounce, he, he seems like he's ball chasing a lot. Uh, like he's, look at that, he was the last man back. And that's gonna cause the goal here. Once again, pounce, he's, he's been absolutely following this ball. He's always there for the double commits. He's not mm. supposed to be there. And yeah, he's been the biggest problem on this team, I find. He's, he's absolutely gone for every ball even though he's not supposed to. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't ball chase when you're last man back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that was... You did, I didn't notice it first off the replay, but they actually had Toasty in a great spot. He was in the midfield 
like far away from the ball waiting for the pass. Short doesn't get the touch and he says, hey, I'm just going to cut this rotation, which is obviously a choice that needs to be communicated with. But if you don't communicate that and Pounce also goes for it and you don't have that third man, it yeah, it looks pretty atrocious in that situation. No one back. Cardinals get the overtime goal and now up 2-0. Yeah, I mean, for the Cardinals, this is great. 3-0, you get a really good uh, little game differential there for you. You get a 3-0 victory. You're now 5-7, and seven, and they're in a much better spot going forward in their season. It's just unfortunate for the Gulls that they now have to pull off a reverse sweep or else the chances of them making playoffs is very, very unlikely. Now, here's the funny part is that... Uh... What's his name? Uh, Squinnel put in 500 credits, uh, not credits, uh, channel points on the goals. And if he wins this bet, he's making 13,000. So he definitely wants this reverse sweep to come in. I'm sure uh, fans of the goals also want that to happen. But the Cardinals right now just playing a little too strong. Hopefully uh, the players on the goals team are telling Pounds to calm it down with the ball chasing. Yeah, and that's absolutely something that does need to be talked about. Those are the discussions you need to have in these situations. You need to talk with your team. You need to get this stuff sorted out. And if you can't do that, then, of course, it will look a bit messy. Mentality is such a huge part of this game. Keeping your head just on straight, keeping calm and collected. And, you know, you, of course, getting hype is fine. But just making the good decisions is such a huge part as the moment there won't result in too much as this one is banged all the way onto the backboard. Game number three, 2-0 up for the Cardinals, looking pretty dominating game one. Game two was surprisingly a bit closer off of Toasty, pretty much getting gifted two goals, but now this one, we're going to have to we see if the sure. goals can pull out again. Yeah, it's four and a half minutes left here. There's plenty that can happen, and as we saw, mistakes on both ends will cost a lot of goals. So at this point, it's who can mitigate their mistakes and who can capitalize on the mistakes of their opponents. And that's almost when that happens, it's frisky. Gets, almost gets that double uh, double tap. Makedo, he finds the rebound instead as no one goes for the ball. You, you know what, Pounce? Ball chase that. <laughs> go yeah, go yeah, for that ball, one. Why don't you ball chase when it's time to ball chase? What are you doing, Pounce? Come on, Pounce. <laughs> you can go for that one. Shorts backwards. He, he, there's no way he's getting that. Uh, yeah, Pounce there absolutely need to go and no one challenging that off the backboard. Uh, obviously means that's a free shot. And Kato does manage to all, credit to him, manages to slip that in between every single defender. Cardinals once again open up with the first goal. We'll have to see what the Gulls can do here. Again, th their first two goals in the last game did come off toasty. Just, he found some very powerful touches and that was something that I brought up is sometimes you just need to get really good hits on the ball and that can make a, a world of difference. If you're finding consistent, strong clears, if you're getting good touches at the midfield, it does start to open up those mistakes in the defense that you wouldn't otherwise normally see. And that's kind of what happened to Toasty, got them two goals back, and we're going to need to see that again here as Cardinals have had a pretty clean opening to this game. A few double commits, a few misrotations, but it hasn't been anything too major. And of course, the goals there with just one defensive breakdown, that's all it takes for the ball to find its way into the back of the net. Now, I do want to say to the people who voted on the Cardinals, you're only getting a 1.04 uh, multiplier on your bet. So to the person who put in 10,000, to the other person who I do believe put in 60,000, uh, to the person who put in 10,000, you're only getting 400 channel points extra back on your bet. So uh, <laughs> that, that's how much of an underdog the goals are. And, well, th does it show? It, it kind of shows, right? They don't even need Kato. Kato's staying in the back of the net. Is this a, a little bit of BM here? No. He, he just waited uh, to, to go on that one as Toasty. Oh, no! What? <laughs> Why do you go for that, Toasty? Your teammate's going for it. The communication definitely isn't there. Rotation's not there either. And it's uh, it's so infuriating and yet so sad at the same time. Oh, no. Toasty is the knife by the post dead. All the mistakes coming in. Finally, something works out. The post just rejects him like his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> As I mean, but he would. Oh, and that's just transition downfield. Frisk could get it to the touch, and there's two players there. I, <laughs> I, that was. I mean, Toasty just had the flip. 
<laughs> well, first, 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 he didn't have to flip. He shouldn't have flipped because his teammate was there. He should have back flipped and just left the ball. And then he needed to flip to find the goal, and he just drove into it. And then they double commit on the transition. And then Pounce scores a great goal. I don't. <laughs> Goals. What? Uh, it's it's so infuriating. Yet it's 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 diabolically. It, it, it's like chaotic, chaotic. You know, that that's what this game is. If the game, if this game had to land somewhere on that uh, chaotic neutral spectrum, you know, uh, lawful chaotic and neutral spectrum, it landed chaotic, chaotic. I think I think this is exactly where it would land because it's pretty much a dice roll at this point, right? Oh well, suddenly this person's gonna score. And we don't see it coming, just like that. Chris is gonna get the third goal here. Kato, just two good touches in a row, draws out two defenders, and yeah, Toasty did have to pre up there. No boost left on him, I don't believe. I did a very wide rotation back into net, and Frisky finds the goal, and now with that, you have yourself a two goal lead as the Cardinals. You have yourselves a good spot, as there's only a minute and 30 left. You just have to hold on to this. Of course, there's no telling what version of the gulls we'll see in the next one minute and 30 seconds if it will be um an insane passing play by short or if it will just be uh the rest of the story is this could be an interesting opportunity but the pinch does just go wide and without these consistent touches coming through it's going to be really hard to get a comeback to get these two goals it's it's like it's not an impossible situation but that's for a team that is making consistently good touches is getting constant clears is finding you know, is finding opportunities and passes on the offense. And and the Gulls just haven't been doing that very often. Uh, they've got something going here in the past two minutes, or in the last two minutes. But now they're just getting stuck on their half once again. The Cardinals seem to have control, and as this clock ticks down, it is looking more and more like we will see a sweep in our first match of the night. Of course, the Cardinals uh, were... I mean, everyone pegged them as the favorite, aside from Swindle. Aside from Squinton, who was the other person? There was another person who put 500. There were two people who put 500. It was Clamps and it was Squindle. Uh, Clamps just didn't say that he did. Because right? you can't mm. tell who puts the money on uh, someone. You can just tell that someone put money on it, right? So I know someone put in 10,000 because I saw the bet increase from 2,000, which I put in, to to, uh, to 12,000. And then it jumped up to 29,000. So someone put in a lot more afterwards, but... <laughs> Oh my goodness, that, this is a clean sweep. We, we kind of expected this, but not in this manner. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting at the very least. It, it <laughs> you was know? Exciting, at least the sure. Gulls made it fun. They did get to show some good play. Of course, Short uh, performing wonderfully, as we would expect. But there's only so much you can do as a sub from another team coming into play. Cardinals get the 3-0 sweep. And yeah, and now they're looking at a spot where you're saying, hey, they if they continue to perform this well with Kato, you know, if this sub comes in and continues to do this well, uh, it's they can definitely try and get themselves into playoffs. They can try and get that spot um, in there. Maybe it has to be a wild card. We'll have to see. But a very strong performance from them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to a short break, I believe. And then when we come back, we're going to have the desk to break down our next match. It's going to be Triple A. The Trojans sitting at 8-3, and three, facing off against the Tundra 5 and 6. Again, this is RLPC. Um, and yeah, we'll be right back after this short break, so don't go anywhere. 